I think we tend to sentimentalize good deeds, particularly in movies. Yeah. There's like an over-sentimentalization of like, is that a word? Yes, uh, you've just yeah. coined it. John, you have tallies approaching. It is a movie about doing, not saying. Jake Gyllenhaal isn't pulling any punches. In his latest movie, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. Don't ever override my authority again. The Hollywood heartthrob, nominated for an Oscar in Brokeback Mountain. Sometimes I miss you so much I can hardly stand it. Who disappears into roles like the Nightcrawler. I will never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Now teaming up with renowned Danish actor Dar Salim. Why do you want this job? I need the money, sir. It's an action thriller putting a human face on the two decade long war in Afghanistan and the bombs forged in battle. You guys have quite a bromance off camera. <laughs> it's hard not to love him. And yet on camera, your bond is very sober, very quiet. I think it's very unsentimental, which I really like. Uh, it's two guys who don't necessarily like each other to begin with. They don't necessarily trust each other. They're from different backgrounds, different cultures, but they're kind of forced to be in this life and death situation. Gyllenhaal plays Army Sergeant John Kinley, fighting the Taliban. Salim plays Ahmed, his Afghan interpreter. Slowly during the film, their relationship starts to develop, and you learn that despite of everything that divide us, more things actually unite us as human beings. You're out of your bounds, Ahmed. You're here to translate. Actually, I'm here to interpret. What does that mean in that moment and throughout the movie? This is my territory. And even though you're in charge, I want to be alive when this day is over. I'm here to interpret the situation for you as well. Um, that's also an interpreter's responsibility, not just the words. The translator saves his commander's life, dragging him through the desert after an ambush. Could you blame him if he just left the guy and just ran home to his own family? But that's, you know, when you put reluctant heroes in, in situations like that. And then when humans make the right choices, that's very inspiring. And it's literally an act of what the Marines say, leave no man behind. Yes, exactly. that, is, that is ethos. The Covenant, written and directed by Guy Ritchie, known for multiple blockbusters, including Snatch with Brad Pitt. While we were shooting the movie, Guy Ritchie constantly was saying, what is the movie about? Mm -hmm you know, in the end. And what we realized was this was about a promise. It was about, uh, ultimately, a covenant. I don't remember any of it. But the strength of their covenant tested when Gyllenhaal's character returns to the U.S. severely wounded, leaving his interpreter behind. Everything all right, John? No, everything's not all right. There is a hook in me. Ahmed and his family are in trouble. You can't intervene. It's a hook that you cannot see but it's there. Because in some ways, by being given his life, it's been taken away if you can't help the person that has helped you. I think we assume because they are, you know, from a different culture that they're not bound by the same idea. And I think that the character of Ahmed, he takes on that ethos because he's, you know, promised a number of things, you know, in exchange for that. And that is the covenant, this promise that you do well by us and we'll take care of you. Yes. For his starring role, Salim drew from parts of his own life. You were born in Iraq, uh, refugee, made your life in Denmark. What part of your personal narrative do you think helped inform the way that you portrayed him? When you grow up and, and you live in different cultures, you come from a war-torn country. You see generations before me who lost their future, um, having to start all over. They never fulfilled their potential. But they gave my generation a chance, as I'm giving my son an opportunity. Did you feel a burden to want to humanize this person, you know, in a way for a big Hollywood movie? I felt it as an honor and a privilege to portray someone from that part of the world as a real human being. Uh, because it can very easily become a stereotype. The duo took a Black Hawk helicopter to share the film with troops at Fort Irwin Army Base. Why is it so important to be able to share this story with the boots on the ground folks? I believe the power of storytelling, particularly narrative storytelling, is that it allows subjects to come back in the light and touch a part of us as people that say something you read in the news doesn't.
The film, a cinematic look at a war that lasted 20 years, an homage to countless U.S. troops, their families, and the Afghan citizens who supported them. I know, one more, please. I mean, it's 300 Afghan interpreters since 2001 have been killed by the Taliban um, for their connection with the U.S. government and, and the soldiers there. And there are still so many there um, waiting for visas. At the end, when the real photos of soldiers and... Done, and and done, 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 done. Yeah. What, what reactions? I mean, I just, I, 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 first time I saw it, I wept, yeah, I, like, I, yeah. When I, you, I watched it in a, a screening in London with my son, and he looked at me and said, Dad, are you crying? And I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> it was a beautiful moment. These people have done extraordinary things, both the people who fought and also their interpreters. So it's just to shine light, bring it back, and say, no one left behind. Our thanks to Juju. Guy Ritchie's The Covenant is in theaters Friday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.